Yeah. This is the life that we choose, we can't let it choose us Feeling so stuck like every day is a rut If it's the life that we choose, why let it choose us? If you're lost in the cycle, set your mind for a cycle Contemplate about my life, calculate it, roll the dice No, every day ain't nice, I'm feeling I was right Man, this world got me fucked up Feel the tension tighten up Evil forces trying to keep a grip on us Trying to keep me tripping up And I'm done slipping Jedi with the ways that we word whipping Universal energy they used to call fiction Use it in our rhymes This is atomic vision Ancient knowledge they don't want us to know Never taught us in the school Always knew the system broke It done me bad a couple of times That's when I knew it was a joke Getting called out as the one that always outspoke This is the life that we choose We can't let it choose us Feeling so stuck like every day is a rut If it's the life that we choose Why let it choose us if you lost in the cycle Hey what's up guys I wasn't going to film today I wasn't going to film today But uh Dylan and I just left an apartment that I once again fell in love with. Um, it's really cute. It's a one bedroom. I'm not going to give too much information about it because I kind of want to keep it to myself. But I'm really excited. And, but yeah, it's really cute, guys. Like the layout and everything is so great. It's amazing. But. That was basically the main event of our day today was to go and look at this apartment we don't have any other like apartments to look at because like the location that we went to they have like 70 other properties that we can also go to as well so we'll just put an application with this one location if that doesn't work then we can go somewhere else but that's besides the point we've really just been talking a lot and I this I guess this can be just like a little update video we really just been talking about a lot, talking about the future a lot and what we want and um, like how our mindsets are shifting and uh, things that we want to do, like create, like especially being creative, like what we want to do. And it's been making me feel good. Like recently I've been in a good mood. I don't want to like talk on that even more either because it's like, it's been going good so for a while now and you know once life is like a roller coaster you have all these ups and then comes the crash you know so it's like that's I'm trying to cherish that as much as possible at the moment but overall we've been doing pretty good home life hasn't really been the greatest because like our environment is something that we don't want to be a part of like it's so draining and overwhelming and I don't want to say toxic but it's not necessarily toxic it's just draining in such a irritating way so yeah um I'm a little sleepy we didn't go to bed until like 3 3 a.m this morning and then woke up around like well I woke up around 9 Dylan didn't wake up until 10 but um yeah today it's been good guys i know i've been kind of mia for a while and that's my fault it's just life has been has been doing its thing like life has been doing its thing so it's like i'm just trying to survive and hit that next level i promise that i'm gonna have more content and stuff coming out soon because i'm gonna be starting some adventures if anything I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's already like maybe three minutes or something right now. But I am going to start testing um, some products that I'm going to be making really soon. And hopefully selling to you guys. And uh, give it to you guys as a little piece of me. Because that's all I really want. I'm, I'm a creator. I want to create things. We're all creators if you think about it. But for me, it's like I want to create things that benefit people. And the profits that come from the products that I sell to you guys or to whoever um, can go towards something that will benefit the earth and benefit those that are in need like that's something that me and Dylan was talking about last night like that's so important to us being able to create but also help the planet type stuff so it's like yeah on some hippie type stuff but I'm gonna be making some body butters 
that's going to be the first product that I ever make. And I have so many more products that I want to start creating, but I have to start small. I have to start with something and master my craft in that one thing. That way I can reinvest into a next project. So first things first is body butters. And just to master that, um, we're already in December. I was supposed to start at the beginning of December, but work kind of like took over my life and especially with the holiday season and all that type of stuff. So sis been tired. I've been freaking tired. So, um, yeah, we've been getting into the music studio as often as possible. Uh, waiting on my producer, Andrew, to um, send us the damn songs. That way we can write lyrics and stuff and like just vibe to it on our own instead of just being in his space all the time, being in his studio and just um, vibe to the music, the beats that we have created and just write lyrics and just create melodies and tempos, like all that type of stuff. It's a whole nother demon and not a demon, a whole nother blessing that I want to take you guys on that journey with as well. But um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff has been going on, guys. Um, I actually got my first official winter jacket. It's great. Got it from Costco for like 40 bucks and it's freaking perfect. Has armholes. No, I lie. I didn't get this from Costco. Why am I lying to you? Um, where did I get this? I got it from Ross in, I want to say in Everett. I don't know, but I got it from Ross and it's really good. I still have two acrylic nails still stuck to my fingers and I can't get them off. And it's been literally a month and a week now, but, um, that's a whole nother story. Um, yeah, I don't have really that much to catch you guys up on now. I think y'all pretty much up to date besides the fact that working, work is driving me nuts. My body is tense, like my feet or just I'm not meant to be a part of this machine anymore and my body is like telling me hey you need to start stretching and you need to start taking care of yourself you're almost 30 now so you need to start taking care of yourself which is another thing that's like all like there's so much stuff I want to take y'all on the journey for it's just a matter of having the freaking time to actually pick up the camera and I know that's my problem to, to I have to make time because time isn't real but that's another video um <laughs> but um yeah it's just a matter of making time to like film this stuff but today is the first day and i'm gonna take y'all on the journey today it might be all over the place i'm still trying to figure out my editing style and all that type of stuff and filming i'm filming on my phone so i don't even have a microphone in there no nothing i'm working on getting a new camera i'm working on getting a new gopro like so much stuff because I want to do so much stuff. It's y'all. I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. And I am grateful for the people that are being patient with me on this YouTube channel, on social media. Like I haven't been posting. I haven't been doing much. I've been mainly on Pinterest and Tumblr, to be honest. So if y'all want to follow me on Tumblr, I'll leave like a link or I'll put my name up there because Tumblr links are so weird. Because I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But you can go ahead and find me on Tumblr. I Follow me on Tumblr. Or you can DM me on Instagram. I'll put my name somewhere here on the screen. Um, DM me if you want the names of my Tumblrs. Because I have three for three different reasons. But I feel like this intro technically is long enough. And let's just get into the video. I love you guys. Again, I appreciate y'all just sticking around and giving the support. Like I have a... Our, me and Dylan's Bali video, uh, our couple's jungle uh, photo shoot, I'll put the thumbnail somewhere right here. That video is at freaking 3,000 views, dude. What? Y'all got that video up to 3,000 views? Like, I don't even know how that's possible. And then I, there's another video of, like, my Amazon wig, the $40 Amazon wig that I have. I think it's the white one. I'll put that thumbnail here. That's at 2,000 or 2 point something thousand views. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Our subscribers are up. Like, I think the last time we talked about subscribers was, 
I don't know. I think we were at like 115 or 118. I could be lying. Don't quote me on this, but we're at like 134, 135 subscribers right now. And I'm just like, even when I'm barely posting y'all, I'm so like, y'all have no idea how grateful I am for y'all for just sticking around. Like, I can't reiterate it enough. Like, I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm so grateful. And it's only going to be up from here. Like, once I get my life together on the back end, I promise I will give y'all my 120% like attention. Like that's all I really want to do. I want to create, I want to be my own boss. Like I'm tired of working for these corporations that really don't give up about me. You know what I'm saying? Like same thing for Dylan. Like I'm ready to start my own business. I'm ready to be my own boss. Does that make sense? Um, yeah and I, anyway i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop ranting i'm ranting i'm gushing like it's just too much i'll see y'all in the next clip okay Mwah. i love y'all so damn much <laughs> anyway okay bye <laughs> okay hi um new angle so hey still in the car but now we're at fred myers dylan is going to put cash on his card so he can do his part of rent and pay for the car insurance and so on and so forth but um yeah i'm talking i don't know if you guys remember well if you follow me on instagram if you follow me on instagram you know that i go to this beautiful person named um uh, tatter tot on instagram i'll put her name somewhere right here and um her name is jay and she does she does me and dylan tattoos here in washington and I love that little woman so much. <laughs> She's so so cute, so sweet. And um, I'm just talking to her about the apartment and stuff and like um, telling her how I'm claiming it because like she lives close by to where we're looking for the apartment. And she was like, oh my God, it's gonna be so lit to like live next to you guys or live by you guys. And smoke sessions are gonna be dope. And I'm like, oh my God, yes. I, oh my gosh, she's so, I can't, words can't explain how much I freaking love Jay. Jay, have you ever watched this woman? I love you, okay? You're freaking awesome, and I really appreciate everything that you do. I don't see you just as my tattoo artist, but I also see you and consider you as a friend. And I would like to keep you in my life, you know, like, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, nothing's really changed besides me just being hungry now. I'm hungry and I want Starbucks. I told Dylan I want steak and potatoes and veggies or I want poutine. And I said, if you can find any of those, I'll be a happy camper. A happy camper. My lips ashy, dog. Okay, I'm just going to stay far away because from a distance, I look better than up close. I also need a shave my beard y'all know how that goes i might do like a whole little self-care video uh sometime on my days off sometime on my weekend today's monday but monday and tuesdays are my weekends so maybe do like a self-care thing today after i um mess around with some body butter recipes <laughs> do some self-care because i know i gotta do my hair and that's gonna be a separate video I'm going to feel myself doing my hair this time around because I'm doing a quick weave, sis. It's winter time and I need my head to be warm. Granted, my hair is constantly warm with my hair being natural, but at the same time, it's like I'm trying to get it to grow. Like my hair has grown, grown significantly and this isn't like even the true length because like the roots are really matted up from when I did my wig and I just took the braids out and just let it do what it wants so I gotta do a deep clean hair wash day and then I'm gonna do my hair and hopefully in the next video hopefully after this one I'm trying to upload all my videos that I film in order we'll get a video for that but yeah if this video comes out like in January I'm sorry life is just really hectic guys and i'm so sorry i wish i could put more energy into it but it's like 
I need to make money to get to the point where I need I want to be. Does that make sense? I don't want to I don't want to half ass the creations that I give to you guys or that I create for myself. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to put half the energy or just be partially there. Like I want to give my whole energy to making these YouTube videos or creating a product or uh, anything like a t-shirt a design a edit i don't want to half-ass it like i want to give all my energy and the job that i have now is making that like it's having my full attention right now due to the holidays like that has my full attention right now because it is draining even though i am working eight hours a day for like five days like it's still draining and it is an early shift like nine to five or seven to three like even though it's like early hours and i get off at three o'clock in that time period i'm drained like i'm in i'm an empathic type so it's like i can feel all the energies of the people that i'm around like dealing with customers and their attitudes and frustration and i'm just like yep i'm exhausted i'm tired like it's crazy because I haven't this is my first year working back in customer service like officially in customer service in a long time like I haven't worked customer service and I want to say maybe three or four years so being back into it and then around the holidays like Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas New Year's that's extremely draining to my energy and my mentality like mentally I'm checking out like especially in the workplace like I'm just doing my job like and that and that's always been my mentality of just clock in do your job and clock out go home and just live your life but when it's affecting my home life and like all I want to do is just lay down and rest because my body is sore like I said earlier like my feet and shit is giving out on me like my legs get tense and like to the point where like if I try to stretch it hurts like and I don't want to do that like I want to take care of my body I'm getting older so that means like my body is like naturally de deteriorating which I'm not upset about I look forward to getting older but at the same time, I still want to be able to live. I'm only 28. Like, I shouldn't be having this much pain. But at the same time, I haven't really been taking care of myself the way I want to. Like, my self-care has gone out the fucking window since basically starting working officially is when my self-care started going out the window. That's when my content stopped being created. That's when, you know what I mean? So it's once I uh, plugged back into the Matrix is when... I stopped caring about myself and that's something that I am working on on trying to get back to that level of actually giving a damn about myself and not really caring about anybody else because I'm more important I'm the most like I'm more important for me this, like I know y'all know what the hell I'm talking about we're all intelligent individuals on this channel so I don't know it's just really frustrating when you know the issue and but you know the issue, but you don't know how to fix it. But at the same time, you do know how to fix it because you're not stupid. You know, it's like you've been here before and now get the back out. It's, for me, is the motivation part that's hard. I'm not going to even say hard. That's, di mm, that's difficult. I don't even want to speak that into existence speak that into existence but that's what it is like that's the reality it's difficult for me to stay motivated when what i'm working for and what i'm working towards isn't the main focus like me starting my business like granted i have everything that i need to start making products but at the same time it's like i don't know i have to test it first like i know the steps i'm just venting guys so please just go with me if you ever felt this way or if you have any advice please comment down in the comment section below because it honestly just having somebody that can talk to me not talk to me but like talk me through this or just give me some words of encouragement is greatly appreciated because I don't have anybody that's done what I'm trying to do in my 
life if that makes sense like I have acquaintances that have their own businesses and um, all that type of stuff but when you I know for me I'm not going to say for everybody but when I try to go to those people and get information they kind of like walk around it or they're like um, oh you just have to do this this and this and I'm like okay but how do you start with that how do you start with that like I don't mind I enjoy learning like knowledge is power so I like I enjoy learning especially when it comes to things that I'm passionate about I enjoy learning about it so it's like if I can go to somebody that I see as a mentor and a friend and I go up to you and you don't even try to help me in the slightest it's kind of like okay I get it you want to keep your secrets but at the same time it's like you're trying to push me to, to try to follow my dreams but when I try to do something to or try to talk to you to try to get that I'm not even gonna get in that um, so Dylan just got in the car and after I turned the camera off the last time, uh, he said that he wanted to read me something. And it's so funny because it's literally something that I was talking about earlier in this video. So do you want to go ahead and reread it? Reread it. Yeah. Cause he read it already. Uh, okay. The fact that I work a full-time job paying $18 and 50 cents an hour and I still have, f and I still have the fear of not being able to pay bills. Financial fear is no joke. I can't do anything other than work and go home because I can't afford it. I can't even buy myself a f***ing hoodie and a pair of pants without risking going into the negatives later in the month. Let me tell you, pretty much being forced to commercialize your hobbies really makes you not f***ing like those hobbies anymore. I don't like my life. I don't like my hobbies anymore. I'm just waking up every day and being forced into thinking of ways of making money instead of enjoying my life. I'm 26 and this should be the best time of my life and it's actually, it's the worst. I'm missing so much that life has to offer because I live in America and I'm getting f***ed every day. I feel like a robot, waking up, going to work, going home, and going to bed. The same exact routine every single day and I really can't, and I really can't take it anymore. Robots are not invincible and this robot is starting to break down and has had an out of order sign on it for weeks. Yep, and who is that by? Jimmy Sapunsky. Let me see. I don't know how to say that. Jimmy Sup Sapinski on f on Facebook, right? Yeah. And he spoke straight up facts. Yep. That was literally something that I was tell like telling them about earlier. Is like, I'm tired of being a part of the goddamn Matrix. I'm tired of feeding the goddamn machine. Uh, a lot of like when it comes to jobs and companies, they'll. Like, if you need people, they focus on hiring, but they don't focus on keeping people. They don't, it's mm -hmm. not a, a system where it's like, we don't want to make sure everyone's happy and they're not struggling. So, it is crazy that a business doesn't care that you struggle to get by. Mm -hmm. As long as you get a paycheck, that's good enough for them. Yep. So... Even if it's the bare minimum, like yeah. as long as they're giving you the bare minimum, they're they're happy. They covered their they're, asses. They're like doing, they're doing what they need to do to have, following have, the law. Right? Have you heard the saying, "The rich getting rich off of the backs of the poor" or something like that? Using the labor of the poor to get to where they are, and that's that's a whole nother level. We are good to that sometime. Well, that's a whole nother video. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, where are we going now? Food. Food? Where? I don't know. We're going to go figure out where we're going to get food. Probably we'll... the soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. We're not that poor. <laughs> hey. So we settled on five guys. Uh, you can't see Dylan because he's over there. But we settled on five guys. We've got this delicious ass burger, as you can see. Freaking delicious. We're gonna bust this up and then we're gonna head to Walmart. Wally World. Good vibes. And then Good Vibrations. I'll take y'all in there. I haven't introduced introduced y'all to Good Vibrations yet. So we're gonna eat, go to Walmart, because I need to get a lock for my bedroom door. Well for our bedroom door. And um yeah. We'll see y'all when we get in the parking lot at Walmart. Okay. Bye. 
So I made it into Walmart and now I'm just like looking for something to work on a project. Nothing too like specific, just something to like get the creative juices flowing. So I'm at the styrofoam plant foam area and just trying to think. Is this not free? But I really don't know if I have a goal. Like I want to make like a little, like a little station for Yamaya. That's one of the goddesses that I would like to work with. But I'm like starting to work on building my altar and stuff. So I'm trying to think: should I make like a container with water, dirt, pebbles, like that type of stuff, or should I make like? a floral like little wall thingy wait a minute make like a little disc and put like flowers all in here around the edges and then try to find something to mount it with if that makes sense does that make sense anywho i also got my door locked that's what i have y'all propped up on so my mother and my sister no longer come into my room mommy and dylan are trying to have sex I don't know. I think they have some good stuff here at Walmart, but I think I'm gonna go to Michael's and try to find that supplies because they have like more options. But they do have good stuff like what is this? I got some sand. Coarse sand. And I have Mod Podge and stuff like that. So Yeah. I think I'm gonna just go to Michael's and try to get some stuff because this isn't exactly what I'm looking for. But they have some cute little flowers. And I think I'm gonna get some. I might get some lavender. Or just one. I don't need much. Just like a little bushel of lavender. And then. Ooh, they got a sunflower back here. A bushel of sunflowers. Sunflower bush. Might do that for Oshun. Um, I think I can't remember. I have to look into it. But I think Yamaya likes blue flowers. I can't remember. I'm so bad at this. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to get these two. The lavender and the sunflowers. Follow my intuition type thing. And see where that takes me. Ooh, should I make a wreath? No, 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 that's too much, that's too much. Okay, I wanna get a cricket, that way I can make my own shirts. But, excuse me, no, you're fine. Jewelry stuff for sure. Got some charms. Put those in my hair. Put them on a bracelet. I don't know. I don't know. Should I make some jewelry? But what though? I want to make like 
those little thigh garter thingies with a whole bunch of studs. I'll try to find a picture and I'm going to insert it when I can. So yeah, that's that. Do I want poster boards? No, I want some more canvases. Where is those at? Do they have paint markers? Aquaflow. No, I don't need that. Dumbo ended markers. No. I need white spray paint markers like the paint markers what is it oh tie-dye kits y'all there's so many things that i want to do it's ridiculous what's on that side is there glitter no i need markers where is that and y'all it's not that often that i come in walmart i ain't got nothing against walmart i don't know it's just that some walmart locations just be doing too damn much i think I might end up going to Michael's today too. So we gotta go to a beauty supply store and I'll see if I could take y'all in there. I don't know how they feel about filming. Go to, go there and then we're gonna go to Good Vibes. We're gonna take y'all in there. Ooh, shipping labels, shoot. I got time to get those. Um, yeah, Good Vibes, beauty supply store. And then, um, Michaels. Hey y'all, we just pulled up at Good Vibes Apothecary here in Linwood, Washington. I don't know, it's off of Highway 99 for those that do live in the state of Washington. Ooh. And I'm gonna see if I can be able to film in there and show y'all what they got, some of my favorite <laughs> items. I'm gonna talk to the owner and see what she says, cause you know, we're like cool like that. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go in there. I don't know what Dylan has to get. I'm not buying anything today, but uh, yeah, let's see what they got. Go for it. All right. There's a little bit of um, mold apple cider there too. I see know. that. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the lovely owner, guys. She's awesome. Very informative. And this is her spot. <laughs> This is her spot, guys. It's beautiful in here. I'm gonna show y'all some of my favorite pieces, but give me a second. I wanna try some of this, this mulled cider here. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the mulling spices are in those bags there. Uh, we use to make it kind of similar, like a soup. Yeah. With the, with the cider or wine. It's actually wine. Mm -hmm. wine as well, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. This gives a little extra. It's nice and warm. It's <laughs> it's perfect for the weather outside. It's uh, kind of a European, a Western and Eastern European kind of order. It's delicious. Mm. And um, if you just think about it, in the winter we like more things, right? <laughs> Especially around there. So my grandma, my mom's mom, was German. And so this kind of came with her oh, wow. um, background. And we would have it big family Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. And, um, we'd always have a pot of this cider just kind of mulling on the back. That's the back cool. so, yeah. That's so awesome. Nice. Yeah. So good. This is my favorite spot. The herb spot. And the kratom spot. The kratom is awesome too. So good. Got all the herbs you can ever think of. Everywhere. Everywhere. Got your jars, tincture jars, got your creams, more herbs. You have your oils. You have your Ovalon shelves, tripods candles around here you have your sage and it's all reasonably priced guys i like definitely recommend you have your incense you have your candles Candles. 
course. This. I get incense burners. Teas and coffee. Did you go get tested? Did that guy ask you a question? Yeah. So before you start talking about me, sir, about my selections. <laughs> Ridiculous. You want to give me this stuff? No. Oh, you didn't want to get it on camera? <laughs> yeah. The, the headband. That's oh, expensive. Oh, right. Dylan. Here we go. I'll get the... How much is that one? Five bucks. <laughs> Five dollars compared to what? Seven dollars. Ten dollars. Fifty dollars. Me? I'm fifty dollars? That's all fifty dollars. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost, I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out I got six jobs, I don't get tired. I was trying to get it out of here I want them dead person in trouble All them dead I got six jobs, I don't get tired
Canvas house. Here they are. Here they are. I got some canvas house. Anyway, um.